everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Brew Stew reaction. This one is called Woodshop. Let's get into this right now. Go subscribe to Brew Stew Films. Go watch the original video down below. Like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, share, and all that jazz. And without further ado, let's get it in three, two, one. Let's go. All right. Now I think it's safe to say that one of the best things about and I remember woodworking in a uh, high school. One of the most popular it was fun. classes for a stout young man like myself was woodshop. Now my high school had two woodshop teachers. The first guy, Mr. Kennard, was a fantastic woodshop teacher. My God, Anthony, that's a fantastic coffee table you made there. May the winds of success always be under thy wings. But the second guy, my teacher, Mr. Schroeder, was a little subpar to say the least. Now I don't know where oh, Mr. Boy. Schroeder came from, but I'm pretty sure my principal just walked into a Home Depot one day and found a guy like hey you look like somebody's dad you want to come teach a bunch of dumbass kids how to work a bandsaw i mean that kind of works as a conversation let's be real teacher. i mean he basically just sit at his desk all day long and read sports <laughs> be careful magazine. and hey, shit uh, should we like work on a project or something huh oh i don't know go ask the teacher uh, but you are the teacher oh yeah that's right uh yeah go build a uh, fucking shelf or something uh how do you do that well how the hell should i know what do i look like a goddamn teacher go get to work so you are a teacher a random project with some vague sense of direction hey uh do you know how to operate the radial arm saw dude i don't even know how to put my fucking goggles radio on. arm saw so what they just screw around all period hey you want to go throw pencils at derek while he's on the bandsaw <laughs> okay ah what the <laughs> hey stop it they're just throwing pencils <laughs> stop it i mean it <laughs> another one Oh my god, there's so much blood! So needless to say, under Mr. Schroeder's fantastic tutelage, all of our projects look like two turds smashed together. The only person that was actually good at woodworking was the now, only girl in the class. I'm just like a regular old Bob Vila, making all of our I just feel a bit like scared shit. about wood class sometimes. Mr. Schroeder's lazy ass would just give everybody a B minus and call it a day. Uh, Mr. Schroeder, I think there's been a mistake. What? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Well, you're you supposed to get an A. And then you gave Billy a B minus over there, and all he did was glue a popsicle stick to a two by four. Hey, I like popsicles. Popsicles are good, even though they're cold and make my head hurt. B minus. So since there wasn't much of an incentive to do well on your projects, we just made shitty things all the time. Throughout the semester, I made a box that didn't hold shit, a shelf that didn't support shit, that and a stool that was built like a fucking Home Alone booby trap. Ah, oh, my pelvis! But for our final <laughs> project of the year, we had bird houses and shit. designing and creating our own custom birdhouses. And boy, you can bet your ass they were some ugly birdhouses indeed. I mean, besides the Bob Vila chick, of course. Her ass over there building the fucking house from Prince of Bel Air and shit. But I was a little less ambitious. They really, she really made that house because, well, crazy. Duplex, and it was a shitty experience to say the least. Wood I and more wood. Share in the same shitty experience. Hey! Asshole. Those look Stop like angry birds. Food down there. You're but, um, my whole living room. Yeah, I'll get right on it, buddy. Just as soon as you stop having loud relations with your wife up there. Now, of course, all of our birdhouses look like absolute garbage when we were done. My holes were all off center and my roof was barely hanging on. No bird's gonna want to live in this fucking house. Nah, uh, yeah, it's gonna like I'd break because there's like a crack in it, obviously. Shh. To make matters oh, worse, shit. we had to display our shitty birdhouses in the hallway for like a week. You got people walking by, clueless as hell. Good lord, somebody call the janitor. Who left all this garbage in the hallway? And to make matters even more worse, Mr. Kennard's class did the same project, and they put their birdhouses in the same hallway. So there you have Mr. Kennard's immaculate-ass birdhouses on the table. And then right down the hallway... They're like boom, so good, but... Section 8 housing of the birdhouses. Mr. Schroeder's classes... <laughs> and there you have the, the French, the, the Fresh Prince house as well. Fucking Bob Bila chick is pissed as hell. God damn it, Mr. Schroeder. Are you <laughs> Another B minus. Didn't even have a fucking roof on it. But the best part of the whole story was that one of my classmates did get an A on his birdhouse. But was it for his craftsmanship and his stellar design? No, it's because he fucking put a Cleveland Browns sticker on it. And Mr. Schroeder liked the Cleveland Browns. Hey, I like the Browns. The Cleveland Browns are good. Even though the A Brown, plus for you. Orange. A plus. God damn it, are you kidding me? Just because Bruce of that. Call. Just because he likes the Cleveland Browns, that's why. Wow. Also, shout out to those three people. The special guests. I'm, I'm going to read. Um. All right, let's go back to the. All right, we have Sue Mesa, Elijah Tuckerberry, and Dominic and D'Angelo. Go. Uh. Shout out to them, I guess. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, yeah, make sure you watch the original video. 
subscribe to Bruce Two Films, and uh, yeah, like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share if you liked my reaction. I'll see you guys in the next reaction or gaming video. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces. Shout out to my Ultra members. Thank you.